Sir Anthony Seldo called for the major commemoration in 2018, which will mark the end of the four-year war, to be properly marked. The 100th anniversary of the end of the Great War risks being toned down over a fear of offending Remainers or Brexiteers, a Downing Street historian has warned. Sir Anthony Seldo, Vice-Chancellor of the University of Buckingham, called for the major commemoration in 2018, which will mark the end of the four-year war, to be properly marked. The academic added the importance of the war should be etched onto the young and all generations, most of whom do not have the haziest idea about its significance. Major anniversaries on this scale are very rare and need to be properly marked. The bloodiest war in the history of the world till then needs to leave behind a very significant legacy, he said. There is a danger that the fear of offending one side or the other on Brexit will lead to the centenary being muted. The university chief urged the government to keep alive the memory of troops who were killed in the First World War by fulfilling the wishes of a young officer who wanted a pathway of remembrance to be built along the Western Front. Second Lieutenant Alexander Douglas Gillespie wrote from the front line shortly before he was killed in 1915, asking for a 500-mile pathway to be erected with collaboration between British and French governments. The academic said the importance of the war should be etched onto the young. Pictured, a yeoman warder inspects ceramic poppies outside the Tower of London installed for the anniversary of World War I in 2014. Catherine the Duchess of Cambridge, Prince William, Duke of Cambridge and Prince Harry visit the Tower of London's blood-swept lands and seas of red installation. Almost 900,000 British and Commonwealth troops died in the war between 1914 and 1918. Pictured, Armistice Commemorations in Colchester, 1930. Sir Anthony, who is an historical advisor to Downing Street, said the monument would remind all nationalities of the perils of conflict. But the academic warned that failing to create the pathway connecting cemeteries and sites of battles would consign these memorials to a long, painful retreat into irrelevance and said an announcement for the project needed to be made before the 100th anniversary of the armistice. Dubbed by Lieutenant Gillespie as the most beautiful road in the world, the path would feature commemorative points at which travellers would be reminded of events which took place there. The officer, from the Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders Line Infantry Regiment, said it would be a fine broad road in the no man's land between the lines from the Vosges to the sea, with paths for pilgrims on foot and fruit trees. Almost 900,000 British and Commonwealth troops died in the war between 1914 and 1918. The centenary was launched in 2014 with a series of remembrance events, including a display of poppies at the Tower of London and the opening of the First World War galleries at the Imperial War Museum. Silence to commemorate the anniversary of the official end of World War I during a service outside the Royal Exchange in London, 1938.